ain't nobody. Hey, look, that cloud looks like a potato. <laughs> hey, look, that guy looks like a worthless piece of shit who gets no bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. It's okay, man, don't listen to him. No, that was really mean. Shut the fuck up. I can't do this with you anymore. Every single time I come in here, your room's a mess, you're talking back, you're slipping at school. I don't got time for this. I'm sick of it. <sighs> and I'm gonna tell you another thing. <sighs> One thing we not about to deal with is your attitude. Chico, Chico, listen, I know how she is, okay? I know how she is. You know how she is. I know, that's what I'm but saying. What are you thinking? I, I don't know, I don't know. You want to deal with that? You keep doing what you're doing. Because what you're not going to do is, you're not going to put me in a situation where I got to pick her side or your side. I'm going to pick her side. I got to sleep next to that woman. But you know, I understand. I know. I know. know how she is. So just fall in line. I know. Do what you got to do. All right. Stay out of trouble. And that's the last time I'm going to have something to say about it. Okay? <laughs> Ryan, come on. Get up. You're going to be late for school. <laughs> Yeah, I don't buy it. Get up, get dressed, and I'll be waiting in the car. Oh, Mom. Ugh, I'm sick. I can't go to school today. Mom! Where the heck is she? Mom! I said I'm sick! And? What am I supposed to do about it? Walk to school? Stay in bed? I don't care. <coughs> My baby! I'm coming, my child! Honey, honey, are, are you alright? Listen, you don't have to worry about going to school today. Just stay home and relax. In fact, you don't have to go to school for the rest of the year. I'll call the principal and I'll uh, pull a Karen on them. You want some McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts? I'll just get it all for you. Just just get better now, alright? My baby boy. Hey, honey, I got your flowers. Aw, that's so sweet. I yeah. guess I'm going to have to lay down and spread my legs again. No, not this time. I got a vase. What gender are you? Uh, male? Attracted to- oh. You prankster! <laughs> you silly! <laughs> Still male- Making a cereal when I realized I have no milk, no cereal, no friends, no bitches, no money, no job, no confidence, no social life, no car, no food, no goals- No matter how wrong she is, if she's short, just forgive her. She's just a baby. Did you know having a brain can cause brain cancer? Thank God you're safe. Siri, can you check my bank balance and let me know which Apple product can I afford? Apple juice. <laughs> my dearest mother and father, I humbly approach your counsel with a request. Speak. I have grown lonesome in this castle. I wander the halls seeking companionship. Have you not any friends in the academy? I yearn for my own flesh and blood. I yearn for a younger brother. Do you realize the logistics of your request? I want someone I can craft in my own vision. Someone I can duel and battle with for years to come. Hmm. And Robert, what do you think of all of this? Huh? What does the boy want? He asked for a younger brother. Is that something we are in position to provide? Hey, whatever it takes to get me- Ah, um, son, how do you think younger brothers are brought into the world? Well, of course, the stork of Athens flies upon your windowsill delivering gifts of life swaddled in silk fabrics and, and parenthood for two children of God. Hmm. Alyssa our son is an idiot. Robert, it was your responsibility to teach him these things. What good is it anyway, Alyssa Cleese? You haven't laid with me in a year. Perhaps if your sword grew taller than my thumb, I would. The assassin's knife is just as effective as the knight's blade. The assassin's knife? I is that why you're so quick? Alyssa Cleese! You knew my size when you met me! Am I getting a brother or not? We have heard your demands, and the best we can offer is a pet gerbil. Do what? Excuse you me! You rule this day! Order! It's not my fault I feel like this! The cold weather triggers my seasonal depression! Then put on a fucking coat! Meet Dr. Victor Blaine, 
a controversial therapist known for being brutally honest with his clients. If you have a headache, drink some water. If you're hangry, eat some fucking food. Just because I believe in common sense doesn't make me mean. And I don't mean to trauma dump on my friends, but I just get these intrusive thoughts. Hey, here's an intrusive thought. You should just shut the fuck up. Okay, sometimes I'm mean. Dr. Blaine describes himself as the Kanye West of therapy, whatever that means. And I feel like my boyfriend cheated on me because I'm ugly. Whoa, wait. You're not ugly. You're mid. Excuse me? Don't act like you didn't hear me with them big ass ears. Now, can you finish up your little yap sesh? I'm trying to go play Helldivers. I'm tired of my clients playing victim in all of their problems. Oh, you had a traumatic childhood, so you came to therapy? Well, Bruce Wayne had a traumatic childhood, so he became Batman. Maybe the problem is you. <sighs> Babe, I gotta tell you something. Just please don't be mad, okay? No, nah, talk to me, shorty. What's up? Talk to me. I used to be a Christian. A Christian? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something really? serious. You not mad? No, I'm not mad. Oh, okay, like, good, because honestly, I'm sure, so much happier be being a Christina. Christina. Like, what? What? What'd you say? We are. We totally are. We're not. We're in love. I don't think we are. Why? Why do you think that? Because people who are in love come home from work oh. at a reasonable hour. I came home and then I said, oh, my husband should be home soon. He said 3.30. It's I 5 o'clock. You chose meetings over your wife. I have. You should have said, I'm sorry. The Air Force is closed. The I Air have Force a wife. <laughs> sorry. Air Force closed. I'm married. I'm married. Lock the doors. Instead, here I am, withering away. Honey, I had three walk-ins. All alone. <laughs> with no one I'm who coming loves to bed me. Right now. Hold on. I gotta take my uniform off. What I if in the hour and a half I died? What do you <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> How and you, you wouldn't have known. How? And no one would have been alerted because they're like, oh, her husband should be home. Oh, her but husband no, will take care of It's just a lone woman. Isn't this nice? It would have been nice an hour and a half ago. <laughs> you want to go get some dinner? You know, get a little early dinner together? Yeah, I see those eyes. Come on, let's go. Let's go get early dinner. Next time you're late, I'm calling Mr. Force. <laughs> Honey, I'll call him. I'm pretty sure he blocked your number a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Veronica. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Girls, do you like Denzel Washington? Because I just saw the Equalizer 3 and it was so good. No, I haven't seen the new Equalizer movie. I do want to go see it, though. I might go sometime this week. Yes, girl, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard. Shoot, I might even invite myself to go with you because it was that good. I'll see it again. I don't care, girl. But anyway, it's so nice to see your face. I know we work remotely, so we don't get to see each other. So, oh my God, you have a doggy. How cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw my dog? Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> Thank you. So hey, I'm going to run think... to the restroom before the, the meeting starts, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, go ahead, girl. Mira, deja de hacer tantas preguntas ya, okay? Let's just sit here in silence until the meeting starts. What do you say? <laughs> 